All right, welcome back. Uh, this is the final segment of Wake Up Sierra Leone. And now in this final segment, uh, we continue the conversation on the just concluded chairmanship and uh, council by elections in the Koinodugu district. The ruling Sierra Leone People's Party, SLPP, in a press release uh, called for the nullification of the chairmanship election. And the main opposition, All People's Congress, APC Party, also calls for the nullification of the council or election. Whilst the National Election Watch knew in their findings described elections as violent and full of inconsistencies. In the studio to discuss this issue, we have Lahai Lawrence Slima, National Publicity Secretary of the ruling Sierra Leone People's Party, and Sidi Aya Tunis, Acting National Publicity Secretary of the Main Opposition, All People's Congress. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Thank Good you morning. for, Thanks having, for having me. Here. We're also expecting to have uh, Charles Kef Kobai, uh, Programs Manager, National Elections Watch, to join us in the program. Uh, gentlemen, it seems as if you're both calling for the nullification of the elections in the areas where you lost, uh, because you won each. So in the areas where you lost, you're calling for the nullification, we're asking for the retention of the areas where you won. I'd start off with you, uh, Lahai Lawrence Lima. Why is that so? Well, like you've, really <coughs> like you've mentioned in the, even the new uh, um, um, press conference, like they said, the elections were full of inconsistencies. So <coughs> it goes to say by implications that uh, in the first place, the atmosphere were not conducive or um, certain people were put in disadvantaged positions. And when those atmosphere exists in any electoral environment, then it means that uh, such elections need an overhaul or needs to be reviewed, especially in areas where um, polling agents were beaten and driven out of uh, those polling stations because of the absence of police. All thugs over overpowered the police uh, presence. And as a result of that, they got away with so many other things that disadvantage other candidates in the process. And so in that light, we have uh, thought it fit looking at what we have with regards to uh, um, what the APC have concomitant with uh, what obtained in the, I mean in, the, in the electoral environment as a party we've come together and we've presented um, our findings together and we've sent it to NEC. Um, taking a position on that. Uh, and, and the expectation is, uh, if you agree, uh, if you agree with New to say the elections uh, were full of uh, violence and irregularities, why not just um, call to nullify the, the entire uh, uh, electionary process as opposed to say, we accept one, let's nullify the other? Well, where we won, of course, it was clear <coughs> that there is no contention. Um, that area was secured. We are saying areas that were not secured, where people were put in a disadvantaged position. That is what we are calling for. Let me, me, quickly, Fibian, before we move to, to, to CD, Mr. Minister, you, you, some six days ago, when the results were announced, mm -hmm. on your Facebook page, mm -hmm. you wrote, congratulations, APC chair, and congratulations, SLPP Council of Ward 155, Konadugu District. Mm -hmm. We lost the battle and won the war. Mm -hmm. How did this sudden change? Well, fine. Um, this is uh, not, when we went uh, at the Tallinn Centre, initially I told you I was not on the ground. Um, we went at the Tallinn Centre. Um, of course, you have to follow procedure. We were told by the electoral officers, especially um, the commissioner, that they are going to continue telling what obtains in Kwenadugo because the environment was not secure, that is why they extended the process in Freda. Mm -hmm. And so we went there, it was a continuous process. So they told us, they will uh, uh, tally the results and call provisional results. Mm -hmm. we will, they will print out and give the results to us and we would have to compare with whatever we have. And if we feel dissatisfied, we will write. <coughs> we will raise the issue and even write. So they will look into the issue. If what they have done is still consistent with what obtained, then they will stand their grounds. If there is any reason to alter based on what we have sent to them, then they will look into all of those. those. So <clears throat> I strictly follow that. And I also, because I was the team lead yeah. of us who went to observe the process. So I did my best to even restrain some of my members who were a little impulsive as a result of things they were, ne they were not happy about. I said, no, we have been given the ground rules and let us live by that. 
So at some point, in fact, uh, there was an issue um, that the, the, I mean, the honorable I took along raised. At, at, at that moment, I went outside. But when I came back, I met him furious. I was able to calm him down when I got the understanding from the NEC officials. And of course, we allow the process to move on. That does not, that does not to say we do not have issues. So if after the entire process we've come back, um, the Secretary General, who's, who, um, who was on the ground because that is his own district, mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, Honorable uh, Amara Kalong, who is also the Deputy Minister of Political Affairs, where they were all on the ground and were able to put their findings together based on what actually happened on the ground, and they have been able to put that findings together. We'll send that to NEC, so that is our position. Until next year, otherwise, and then we consider um, the next option that will be available to us. Uh, Tunis, the same applies um, <coughs> to you. It makes absolutely no sense to say the elections had all those irregularities and then you choose to accept uh, the one result that favors you and the quest for nullification of the other that doesn't favor you. Why not just say let's cancel all the elections? Well, in the first place, we have asked for no nullification of any result. And also, we did not lose any of those elections. Let us be very clear on those two. What we ask for is to correct and amend the blatant malpractice that we all saw. One that um, has been talked about by even the observers, and that is the changing of figures from 049 to 149 that gave the SLPP councillor seven votes victory. Had it not been for that change, there is no way he could have won or he could have been declared winner by neck. And that blatant malpractice happened in the full view of everybody who was at the Tali Center. They were all there, they saw it, and the APC raised it right at the Tali Center. Neck agreed, but we are stunned that the amendment was not made right there and then. And you saw everybody, you know, raise the same issue, and we have been talking about it repeatedly. The only reason why we are here is because of that. I mean, we all saw the post, immediate post-election analysis. There is no question that in few polling stations we had issues. There were challenges. But let us also not forget that elections itself is a process. And we have laws that guide NEC as to how you know, they go about elections process. If NEC felt that uh, whatever happened in one or two stations would have uh, you know, tilted the, the entire outcome of the elections result, I'm pretty sure they would have done the right thing by nullifying. But if they felt that uh, whatever happened in those few stations ha would have no impact or would not change the outcome of the election, why would anybody ask for nullification? We did not ask for nullification. Mm. We just want to ensure that our elections process is credible, our elections process has integrity, so that we'll all continue to have confidence in the institution that has been charged with the responsibility by law and that is to what, be in charge that, of the elections process. Isn't that process. what NEC um, has done already, you know, by announcing, certifying the results and announcing the results and assuring political parties that they will investigate whatever malpractice or allegations of, um, you know, irregularities that happen during the process? That is what they have done. But, mm. I mean, the fact of the matter is that is also why we wrote mm. and brought to their attention you know, the, the, the malpractice that happened at the Tally Center. The fact of the matter is, yes, when it happened, we raised it, but they still went ahead and announced the provisional result. Mm -hmm. So we wrote... Of which year we are part of? The, the, we, we, we tried to, you know, we asked them not to announce... Which we are part of the process. Oh, of course, we so, were. So, so that satisfied the whole process? No, 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 that is why we wrote. Mm -hmm. Even before the final results came out, we wrote to the chief electoral commissioner, bringing to his attention these irregularities. Whether, in fact, he saw the letter before he put out the, the final result, that we don't know. But the fact of the matter is, we wrote to him, we submitted the evidences, we called the press conference, and also we have written letters to other institutions. 
We even told them that we will go to court mm -hmm. if the amendments were not made because that is what the law says, you know. Well, and, and Tunis, why do you think Nick would ignore all your concerns well, and still go ahead with announcing the results uh, also that we have observers new mentioning some of the irregularities why would next still proceed to announce um, that result and that is what we all need to find out i mean for us this is not just about apc this is about elections credibility and integrity and that is what we all need to find out as real unions why would next ignore everybody the apc the observers with all the evidences and still decide to go ahead with the announcement, even where the issues were very, very much clear. And that is where we all need to find out. And if, in fact, you know, the whole idea is blatant and deliberate, then actions need to be taken. I mean, the, the, uh, Lehman mentioned about the issue of uh, disruption in the whole tally process in Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. It is the same reason why the tallying was moved from Kabbalah to even Freetown. Somebody was caught trying to change figures four times in favor of the SFPP. And he was caught on all the occasions and the amendments were made. You know, that is what led to the fracas that, you know, Move okay. the whole process to Freetown, and then when we came to no, Freetown, no, uh, and we, <laughs> when we came to <laughs> Freetown, <laughs> do not disrupt me, Mr. Uh, uh, Lehman. I'm talking. When right, we were talking, I was quiet. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank <laughs> you. And when the process <clears throat> moved to Freetown, it is the same issue. You know why? But, but was you it, why was the, it? But you, but you attended the the telling process. Yes. You were part of the process. That is why we picked it up. If we were not there, we, would, we wouldn't have picked it up. And when we picked it up, we raised it. The question now is, why the difference? In Kabbalah, the changes were made right there and then. Mm -hmm. Why did they refuse to do the amendments in Freetown? Okay, gentlemen, we'll be coming back to you shortly to continue the discussion. We're trying to have neck into this discussion as well. Hopefully, we'll have them on the telephone line to react to some of the issues, um, the concerns raised there. But the, the um, National Elections Watch, where um, the monitors of the election, they monitored the old process and held the press conference. Let's take a look quickly on some of their findings, then we'll continue the discussion. Yes. ABC reported that they have 82 votes, SNPP 49, net cross-checked their RF form, and it was very clear that SNPP had 49. But sadly enough, the figure that NEC entered into the, 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 the system for SNPP was 149. The APC appealed to NEC to correct this discrepancy. <coughs> NEC went ahead to read the provisional result. Commissioner Edmond Alpha told the APC that they will go ahead to read the provisional results, and if they have any problems, they can take it further. Uh, that was uh, the, one of the observers of the elections um, in Koenadugu district. And um, the only issue about irregularities, the observers are complaining, uh, the, their reports clearly says there were irregularities. The SLPP are complaining irregularities, APC, um, I think for a very long time, this is one moment when you are in agreement with a lot of things about irregularities in an in, in election. Depends on who should say what. But is it about winning at all costs? I'll start with you, Lima. Is it, a, is it because you did not win the chairmanship election? And you're satisfied, like Phoebe asked, you're satisfied with the other election, but not satisfied with the chairmanship election? Well, um, it's about um, really trying to taint... Uh a public institution that is very critical to the survival of the state mm. that we are concerned about. You're concerned about NEC? Yes. Um, if one political party is trying to taint an institution that has been responsible for the transition, political yeah. democratic transition we have enjoyed in this country against all odds, they've, stand, they've stood tall. And some one political party is trying to taint them in a process that has validated them as winners and they are trying to taint them in a particular one that did not go into their favor, mm. trying to blackmail an institution as if they are working in favor of government as a party we are responsible enough. Mm. We have worked assiduously to preserve 
the democracy that we enjoy today, and we want to continue in the preservation of that uh, democratic So, so your own process. concern so, about irregularities so is, 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 not, is not from NEC, it's from the, it from, it from the opposition APC. So what we want to look at is when NEC, I mean, APC is trying to justify their own act of violence and disadvantaging people mm -hmm. and by such means manipulating results and now they want that fictitious result to go in and further continue to cause disadvantage for people, thereby trying to blackmail public institutions that is very critical to our national security, we are of concerns that we have to look into those issues that they've raised and that we have raised as well, that is very clear. And when he talks about pieces of evidence, it was quite clear when they took talks. Even at the final rally, their big guns were there together with their talks. And the unfortunate part of all of this mm -hmm. is when they even placed a polling uh, station closer to their office, mm -hmm. which gave rise to um, the, their talks to beat people in the full view of the public. But, but, but so New, what is, also saying, New is also saying, Senior members of the government, mm -hmm. you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that the Deputy Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Secretary General of your party, mm -hmm. was on ground. Yes. The Deputy Minister of Political and Public Affairs was on ground. The yes. Minister of Youth is named. They are indigenous, they are indigenous of Konadugu districts. The, the APC might say so as well. Most of their big guns, so, save for Dr. Kefala Mara, so, who is another, so, uh, who was uh, another big gun uh, uh, about the ground. How uh, about the Minister of Youth? Is it from The Minister of Youth? was on Kwenadugu, but was not at polling center. The question I want to ask yeah. quickly is about you saying the APC um, is trying to tint neck mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. But in your press release, you also mentioned issues about recruitment mm -hmm. of officials by neck, mm -hmm. And it's the same neck who recruited these officials who you're claiming mm -hmm. are supporters or members of the APC. Mm -hmm. So are you also not saying that neck? has some credibility or integrity. So that's why I'm telling you that it is for the credibility of the institution itself yeah. to come mm. clean. That is why mm. we too have raised the issue so that at least they conduct an internal audit. We are mm. calling for an internal audit so that NEC comes clean out of the whole process. Mm -hmm. That is what we are also claiming. Uh, because as far as we are concerned, what they are saying is not, is not correct. Mm. He knows that. Mm. They've mm. lost the councillor elections, yet they were trying because they were there. These are their own boys who are recruited and they were able to, 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 to stuff ballots and also falsify figure, and that did not tally with the, 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 the result NEC had. And it, does, it, also, it, it did not also reconcile with what we have. So if they are claiming this, that uh, what they have did not reconcile with what NEC have, and it also does not recall, reconcile with what we have, we are now calling on NEC to conduct an internal audit into the process so that they come out clean into the entire process. And, and, and now I, I uh, struggle to process this, um, 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 Lima. Uh, new uh, mm. is also alluding to some of those um, submissions mm. by both the APC and the SLPP. Mm -hmm. But also I can recall a few days back we had uh, a representative here talking about how um, they caught a uh, 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 NEC official um, inputting the wrong figures. Mm -hmm. And wrong here, mm -hmm. there were instances when I think it was just maybe 46, mm -hmm. and they input 146, yeah. making it <coughs> an excess mm -hmm. of 100. Mm -hmm. And what the new representative said in the studio was, in all those instances, about three or so, when they caught those individuals, they were doing it in the favor of SLPP, not APC. How do you explain that, especially as you sit now to, at some point, try to uh, justify the actions of you would have, if I were If I were you, I was going to require that individual to produce us the evidence. Because there's no way you're going to see somebody falsifying the favor of this particular person. You, <coughs> may, you should, of course, we are living in the smart world now. Mm. You should have at least a video footage of what you were doing. No, he mentioned it. He said the old process was stopped mm -hmm. and the individual was arrested, was handed over to the police. But also we heard from the NEC official who mm -hmm. said that it was only a breach in procedure, mm. um, that the person did not do the correcting, it was mm. not a falsification. That was cleared uh, by, by NEC, so because that is for NEC yeah, to yeah, qualify. It was not, not, one to have NEC on this it was not one off. Mm. A, a one off, perhaps, uh, 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 the human mind could say it was just maybe an oversight, mm. but it happened more than once. Well, uh, so it, it, it leads to several questions. Uh, so to those people who have been uh, accused of trying to manipulate the figures in the interest of the SLPP, mm -hmm. uh, did they do this in courts with the SLPP or were they acting on their own? So, well, I will, not, I will not lend credence to that, nor will I justify that, because I have, not, I have not seen any evidence. Even the APC claiming this, they have not produced us evidence, save for the fictitious figure they have, 
that does not reconcile with what NEC have. And if you are claiming that NEC gave you a certain document that has slept with you two or three days and you did not raise the issue at the material time, and after that, you've gone, you've reconciled what you have, and what will give you winning is what you want to impose on NEC and thereby subjecting them to blackmail. So I will not subscribe to whatever the individual is claiming until he shows me evidence, then I'll be able to say, oh, I bow my head. I give them the credit. But I can't subscribe to whatever speculation somebody's making in the air, no. Uh, Lima, I recall in 2018 when we had um, our general elections, um, uh, some of you were on the media, uh, from APC, SLPP on the media, talking about how the electionary process was ongoing. Mm -hmm. And I recall there were instances where SLPP members had serious issues with the APC mm -hmm. uh, because they were ruling government then, mm -hmm. uh, having some officials who had no business being at polling centers going to those centers. And yet we see the same thing happening now. This is 2021. That's not Government correct. officials attending an electionary that is really not process correct. that they're not that that they 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 were not supposed to be at. That is misleading. How so? Justify. Fine. Every government official in this administration you see at polling, he has business to be there. He is accredited to be there. If he's not accredited to be there, he is not there. Now, when we talk of accredited government... Accredited in what capacity? He's sorry? accredited by neck as a member of a political party to be on the ground. Even me here, when I decided to go on the polling as, uh, I mean, at the Tallinn Center as a PRO, I went with my private vehicle, not government, of, not government vehicle. Mm -hmm. Even though going with a private vehicle does not still impede my public functions when the need arises, mm -hmm. yeah? So I know for certain that um, if I'm going to act in the capacity as a party official, I know exactly where my role stop as a party official, and I know where my public duty comes in. So I'm very clear of that. So what I'm saying, this government mm -hmm. has, since we've started all by-elections, um, under this administration, there is no one moment except for rallies, except for rallies. In fact, for rallies in Freetown here, even in Freetown here, it is very difficult for you to see government officials who are not tasked by the party to be on that ground. Uh, so we have we have we have, do, we have done our best to really restrain ourselves. From, from, from doing what we are criticizing. Just a quick um, clarification, um, um, Lima. So if, for instance, in maybe coming elections, we see um, a situation where a sitting government uh, uh, official is present at a polling center and gives a justification that they're not there in their capacity as a government official, but in their capacity as polling agent for their political party. I'm saying now in this context, if it's, got not, if it's not an SLPP member, would this be acceptable by no. your party? Let me be more if specific. If the government minister is not... If, let me be more specific. Mm -hmm. We know in Sierra Leone we have this battle exchange between APC and SLPP. If mm. it comes a time when the APC is the ruling government and when, there is when an I would election, have been an old man. and there is an election, whenever that is, and okay. there is an election, and then you see a government official in the ruling party, APC, going to a polling center and they say, oh, we're not here in our capacity as government official, but in our capacity as polling agent for the APC. Would that be acceptable by SLPP? I can understand that with certain um, government offices like the ministry I, like the ministry where I work the Ministry of Defense um, Office of National Security I can understand that because these are all part of um, they are all election stakeholders you understand I can understand that no, that's not the so, question so, I asked so the point is I went from that I'm coming I, I the clearly question got your from question. what you said that mm -hmm. you were not there mm -hmm. and those other colleagues were not there in their capacities as government officials but in their capacities as agents for the SLPP. So that's what led to me asking you now. Which government official that was there as, a, as an agent of the SLPP? I did not make the submission for you, sir. You made your submission. We were talking about the... You even um, mentioned Mr. that you Mr. went Mr. with your private vehicle, not even a government Mr. Barr asked me about uh, the Secretary General in Kwenadugu, mm -hmm. right? And also Mr. Amara Kalong in Kwenadugu. Mm -hmm. Now, let's understand clearly the office these people operate. Mr. Umaru Napoleon Kuma, no, I'm answer coming, that, please. please answer the question. That's, I what, that's, what, that's what, the certain questions are answered when you analyze them. Then you are clearly able to understand the scenario. So, um, Mr. Secretary General, I mean, Mr. Umaru Napoleon Kuma, who is the Deputy Minister of uh, Justice, is the Secretary General of the party. Mm. And that is his home district. Mr. Amar Kalon is the Deputy Minister of Public Affairs. That is his home district. The Minister of Works, who has got no political relationship, was not on the ground. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, even though that and is the his minister own of Future and his deputy, yes. he was in an hotel. Mm. Save for the fact when Dr. Kalfala Mara went and stopped pulling for an hour. L Lima, I want to he move, has got I want right to, move, to do. I want to move to CD quickly, but I want to ask you this. You ask about evidence, mm -hmm. and we just play a video mm -hmm. which new expert, new mm -hmm. are the observers of this election. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they are independent institutions. Mm -hmm. You saw you you add that woman explaining where they allegedly um, someone was inputting numbers and a the APC mm -hmm. protested. She was reporting on an issue that happened. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So as a party, don't you think these are all legitimate issues, that these are concerns you should be worried about? I, don't, I didn't get you. That is why we are raised, in this concerns. That's why we've raised the issue. Mm -hmm. Now, what she was reporting was the same thing I have said. Mm -hmm. We went on the pulling. We went on the pulling. The mm -hmm. woman was reporting that mm -hmm. because they were unable to complete the process mm -hmm. In Kwenadugu. No, no, she, men she, no she mentioned areas about the inputting issue Phoebe was asking about, mm -hmm. about in the, uh, the APC That is what APC issues. alleges, and that is what she was reporting. Uh, and you, you, you think that didn't happen? You believe. For as certain. A, with an independent institution observing that and reporting for, it. For certain, how independent would you want to determine them? They mm -hmm. were there as observers, we, we sent our agents. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to credit their report over our agents? No, I'm asking you, so as a political party, you mm -hmm. don't consider their report as an independent report? It's you don't their own observation. I not discredit the observation okay. but similarly i will also credit my own observers report okay um city quickly um in all of this political parties are more interested about who wins and how the old process went not about the violence reported by new violence from both sides issues of violence you've not come out openly and but this is where i have concern the issues of violence, violence was not on both sides violence we, we, or, or no no i'm saying i'm saying, man, man, saying what new said mr the, minister yes, i'm saying yes. what new said i'm uh, asking from from well, the reports of new well, the the very reason we not parties of anyway, causing I'll, I'll violence. address that issue when you finish with him look we are concerned about everything that uh went on that had a tendency of uh you know disrupting the whole elections process including the violence oh, allegedly yes. perpetrated by oh, your members by all sides if there if there is indeed which, which ev sides? evidence i mean we so we also heard in the report mm. from new the 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 contestant for the SFPP chairman district council chairmanship the the candidate on polling day went to a polling station assaulted a polling agent, a disabled polling agent. And he, in the first place, was not at any polling station. But he was there. He I hope you give me time to address some the, of the Listen, lies. Lima, you spoke for I'm almost 20 minutes. I did not interrupt you. Mm. For almost, he, he assaulted, you know, a polling agent. And the issue about a police station being opposite the SAP, we do not... And there are also video evidence of your allocate. members attacking someone who they perceived was sent there by SLPP. There is also video evidence of that. Look, at Lamrana, mm. any violence that happened in any election, we always condemn, mm. including the Kwenadugu election. Mm -hmm. But for me, you know, we have elections, and we have elections process. And in all of this, all of us, the players, the parties, the observers, the, the neck, everybody was involved in making sure that the elections, you know, proceed peacefully. And that is why even in the report, new neck political parties all agree that for the most part, the elections went ahead peaceful and quiet. Mm -hmm. You understand? The whole issue came about when people started acting dishonest. And, and we have seen this pattern repeatedly. And that is why we are really disturbed. I, I, we saw it in Tom Kolimba. Do you also want to take responsibility? We saw it in do, you, do you also as a political party want to take responsibility? Before the elections, New and PPRC did advise that people who are non-indigents of this place they should, should not go there. And you have senior party officials who were on ground. We had senior party officials on the ground for our final rally to mm. give support. No, no, during Listen, polling day, no, do, po uh, Dr. Richard Conte was there. He's our elections coordinator. Mm -hmm. That is why he was there. Mm -hmm. 
If you, if you notice, Dr. Richard Conte has been in every by-elections that APC has had since 2018 because he coordinates our elections. Okay. And, so that, he's that in charge, and he's in charge of our tallying. Okay. That's why he's always accredited Isn't that to what is creating tension, the, having people who shouldn't be? We saw people who moved from McKinney. There are video evidences. You know, with social media now, you see people, we saw people who moved from McKinney coming into Kabbalah to, you know, creating tension. And what was, are, their, what was their involvement in the you, elections? But even on Poland, if you have a group of supporters from a certain region entering into another place, it creates tension. And are you also not taking responsibility as an opposition party of the of all the tension within this election? Um, that, look, there has been independent report in all of this. Mm -hmm. And we have to be very honest and sincere. Mm -hmm. In, and the in, report did accuse some of your people and accuse of those their of presence. the ruling party. Exactly. Yes, but not their involvement in any no, violence. No, but their presence, that is what the I'm report asking. Even, let, us not, let us not forget, the mm -hmm. report even stated mm -hmm. that there are instances where in violence and tensions erupted. These same people you are mentioning from the APC are the ones that went and quelled those those tensions mm -hmm. and violence, mm -hmm. you know, from escalating. Mm -hmm. So they were there as, you know, coordinators of, the, of our elections, and they ensured that peace reigned so that the elections process will go ahead. They were not accused of assaulting people. They were not accused of being involved in any violence. In fact, the report stated that they even uh, quelled down you know, the tensions and the violence that wanted to emerge. Look, so but it, let us, from, let us from, from the studio here right now, we oh would also me. call down uh, the tension. Exactly. Let's all take a moment to breathe in and breathe out as we take the <laughs> Did You Know segment. Let Did you know? Did you know that Africa is the second largest continent in the world, both in size and population? Did you know the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, uses every letter in the English language? Did you know chewing gum is banned in Singapore? Welcome back. Uh, did you know segment? We've got to learn uh, a couple of things new. this morning. Yeah. Chewing gum banned in Singapore? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do will you the leave, Will you that. live there? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> you banned chewing gum. Right, coming back to the gentlemen in the studio. Uh, we're going to be taking um, some of the messages from our Facebook yeah. page. There are tons of messages, but mm. out of curiosity, Tunis. Um, it's quite interesting seeing uh, seeing the dynamics here right now, where the table is turned. All what you're having an issue with right now with the um, SLPP were things you did when you were in office. I is there a lesson learned? Because we see you, both of you, you know what's right from what's wrong when in opposition. The minute you, you take office, you seem to forget what's right from what's wrong. We see a recurrence of the same pattern. Seems like a never-ending circle well you see this is why this is why I have issues you know and this is this is really why probably we see continuous repeat of um, things that the occurrences that we see now I will not say that when the APC was in governance we were perfect but there was never a time during APC that we saw any next staff during Tale blatantly change figures on many occasions in favor of the APC. There was never a time during APC that the process was moved to Freetown and it was repeated, you know, and we just ignored. There was never a time during APC, uh, during a by-election in the opposition stronghold, SLPP, you saw an APC candidate assault a polling agent. There was never a time 
during APC that you saw a minister in the full view of the police on polling day destroy ballot boxes, beat everybody in the polling station, in the full view of the police. None of those occurrences ever happened and under the APC. that is not to say that under the APC, things that were is why I said, and beautiful. That is why I said we were not perfect. Mm. We had challenges. We had issues. But these occurrences that we are seeing when it comes to elections, we did not see I those blatant... I because it seems no. you're also not taking any form of responsibility I in ensuring the peace, security, and stability of the country. Because oh. when you were again in government, you knew what was right from what's wrong. Now that you're in opposition, you can't still seem to carry yourselves the way you were expecting SLPP to carry themselves as main opposition. So what difference does it make? Oh, Fibian, if we were not taking responsibility, if we were not responsible enough as a political party in opposition, we would not have peace in this country by now. Yes, it sir. is only okay. because we are responsible that we have been able to restrain our supporters, even where they have been support, uh, assaulted and sometimes even where some have lost their lives. It is only because we are responsible that we have been able to restrain our supporters amidst the blatant irregularities and mismanagement we continue to see under this administration. It is only because we are responsible that we continue to call for peace and national cohesion even at the detriment of our own membership and supporters. Okay. We have been so responsible as a political you, party. That is why we have you peace you and you quiet. You, you. And it is because we are responsible that we want to follow the process by, London, by making sure that neck launders their image instead of being accused of blackmail. Let, let Nobody is blackmailing neck. Let, let we are trying to help no. Quickly, to we need to take messages. Image. We definitely need is to take messages. <laughs> Let's have you react to some of, them, so, some of the concerns. And, and the same question is about taking responsibility. You see, um, when it seems none of the parties want to take responsibility. See, when my brother sits here, he talks <laughs> to somebody who understands the history of APC very well, and that history has not changed, and they have been so fixated in their patterns, even for the younger generation who didn't know APC before now, are now seeing what APC is, and he sits here saying things, I would still um, give credit to His Excellency, former President Anes Koma, looking at these people and calling he had them independent and that is an exhibition that named of that. Your ministers now, when he who talks, I'm coming, please. Let's yes, him please. Let, let him, let him, let him make his I think I, not that I could not Yes, go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Yes, Minister. Um, when he made reference, historical reference, to how they have conducted themselves, there has not been time of this, time of that. Well, I'll give him a few references. This is not to say that what he's saying perhaps is not partially correct, but he's correct for a reason which I will state. Now, in, in Kailan, when we had uh, Mami Dabo's by-elections, that one was the violence that was perpetrated on us was so massive. But the people we are determined to resist their cause of actions. We won that elections under very difficult circumstances amidst the violence they perpetrated on our people when they were in power. Okay. And uh, also, when they were in power, he said, there was not a time when uh, a process has to be cancelled or referred back to Freetown. This is because we believe in, de in democracy. We believe we go into the pools to allow the electoral officials to work. We respect security procedures. And we have not gone into the election theater with a thought of violence. And this is why when we conducted ourselves responsibly in all elections, if not, I mean, in most of the elections, if not all, in Western area and largely in part of the Northern Axis, even some areas in Kono, they were winning those elections, not because um, they had the number to win. It is because they, we are manipulating the system, which is so accustomed in Mr. their character Minister, and conduct. Please, Lamar, no, no, time is closing on us. No, no, I, I was giving a lot of time. I know, please, I know, because no, we also gave you time. Please. We so, also no, gave please, you time. Lamar, no. okay. Also, coming on the issue of Kwenadugu, mm. right? He said they have never done this. Now, let's make, just before I come to Kwenadugu, let me make reference to Bo. In Bo, also, they took a lot of talks mm -hmm. to their party office when President Bio was passing, and they had to perpetrate violence, you understand, on disrupted that, ra that rally, which led to the arrest of Honorable Rado Yoki if you and can, others. If you can do this quickly, I want to ask a final now, question as we round up. final question, in mm. Kwenadugu now, mm. where he's talking, um, he said new made reference to beating a disabled. It's quite unfortunate, I, am, I have not seen that anyway, but it's unfortunate that new was able to pick where, uh, to pick on where a disabled was beating, which I cannot even, justify whether it was done by SLPP, but whether it's a cover-up 
for mm. the failings of APC perpetrating violence on our people. When Captain SS Mara's house, yeah, there was a live firing exercise on, um, and also talks leaving Captain SS Mara's house to attack the house of the Honorable Paramount Chief. This is very unfortunate Mr. that Minister. you did not capture this on their report. Finally. So this is why I discredit their standing that perhaps their standing is coming as a result of certain interests they have that they want to Finally, protect. unfortunately, we've got a lot of messages, but because of time, we cannot read them. But uh, finally, finally, um, are you going to court? That is not for me to say individually here. That is what your party we said. We have written to NEC, and mm -hmm. we are looking forward to what NEC will give to us, and then we'll go back as a and party. And if they and don't address your concerns, you'll well, go I will to not court. say that as an individual. Okay. Um, CD, the APC, if your concerns are not addressed as well, you'll go to court? I mean, we, are, we have already stated that. Mm -hmm. The evidences are clear and, you know, they, they, they have been, you know, corroborated by news reports and other observers that were present. Okay. There were blatant uh, changing of figures see, in favor of the He was SFP. talking of uh, uh, Dr. Richard Conte. Okay. I even forgot is, to mention that. that. Oh, Dr. Okay. Richard Conte has okay. now become the <laughs> coordinator <laughs> Lima, of Togri. Lima. Because in Kailan, when we had that violence, Dr. so I forgot Conte to mention that. Dr. is a very when we decent went to Kailan, man. Perpetrated violence here. in that election fact, to the extent in that fact, if I was somebody the CEO died here, of now BYD, again, now again, you would not have been here if you had not in, apologized in, in, in to Marcella Samba. He was. He, no, you want me to mention that? I would have to be fine. Gentlemen, I, 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 can't even, I, I can't even say more than that. Gentlemen, so now you want to distract me. In Kwanadugu, Dr. Richard Kota was in the FEC office when they took talks. When they took talks in Kwanadugu, and he was in that office. Okay, when he talks, we are too much. Dr. Richard Kota is a decent man. They never behave like they talk, like, a talk, but that's like, like your ministers who are walking around with walking talkies and, you know, no, no, he's a very decent man. We'll get to a point where this talking will stop, Sierra Leoneans will enjoy their peace. Oh, yes, we are ready for that. Gentlemen, we are ready for that. Gentlemen, we would not like to change the name we call you gentlemen. We will endorse it. We should also mention to the public that when these two gentlemen came to the studio this morning, they were actually laughing and playing together. So it got me thinking. We saw them laughing and playing together. Exactly. They so were even teasing <laughs> each other before they so, came to So sit finally, here. we should also let the public know that we invited New. We, we are going to have they will not come this, here. this neck and New neck as well, but unfortunately, um, they were unable to join us in the discussion. But thanks very much, um, 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 Lima, Lilo, and Slima. And thanks, um, CD Tunis, for joining us in the conversation. We're definitely looking forward to your next press releases um, on what next um, action you'll be taking. Thanks for your time. Would follow up. And um, now in sports, a single leg amputee um, footballer, Fode James Lume, has uh, become the first single leg footballer to depart Sierra for Turkey to play professional football. Let's join uh, Ransford McLean, who is with us in the studios now for some more updates. Good morning, Ransford. Thank you very much, and good morning, uh, Lamona. Well, the public relations officer of the Single Leg Amputee Sports Association, Albert Manley Mustafa, has confirmed to EYV that football uh, player James Lume is now the first professional player to depart Sierra Leone for Turkey. The young lad has won, has left uh, the shores of Freetown very early uh, two days back to join his club in Turkey. Let's take that. We gladly today now we had all in confidence, gladly the day around them, but motivate them so that we go, it will be an example for Sierra Leoneans, yeah. more and pity them for go as well. Yeah. Yeah. The African Nations Cup next Monday, 24 in Tanzania. Jones Ford and Romero, our first professional from Sierra Leone for amputee football, go get for left Turkey for joining Sierra Leone national team. I've been with my colleagues for two years. They started the journey and being among today to represent Sierra Leone, to represent single leg amputee is not a mistake. Yes. Um, I'm short of words. Going to Turkey does not mean I'm the best player in Sierra Leone. Just that I have been chosen by God. Yes. Say it, say it. Like this. Yeah. And I will pray that God Almighty will strengthen me for me to be a superstar. Yeah. Because that always been my dream to represent the country. To represent the club that actually the government, Asian people are neglecting society. I want to be the voice to the voiceless, to the amputees. I want to be the change maker in societies. I want to be that kind of person that have a positive mindset. That what able people. My dream was if we have professionals, able people, body that are going to represent Sierra Leone. 
that they might dream to be one of the four very first times ever in Sierra Leone to represent the amputees. Head of communications for Boeing's football club, uh, Solomon Dembi, has condemned the act of violence that occurred during the match between them and the uh, host by Boyle Warriors, uh, citing poor security on that match venue. But on the other hand, the executive of by Boyle Warriors uh, press release also uh, 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 said that there are a ledger of um, violence on them and they considered it as unfortunate and misleading as it does not reflect the good spirit of the beautiful game of football. And finally, uh, Sierra Leone National Football Team Leone Stars wraps up their 10 days training camp in Morocco today as part of preparation for next year's Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon. Leone Stars will face Morocco who uh, in the previous uh, two matches against Gambia and South Sudan won 7 and 2-0 uh, um, on both matches. And uh, now for the standing so far um, out of uh, the several meetings, out of seven meetings uh, between the two countries, Sierra Leone has never won a match against uh, Morocco. And um, uh, while uh, Morocco has won uh, four and uh, the two teams have drawn. That's all I have for sports. And back to you, Lamana and Fidian. Thank you very much there, Iran Sport McLean, for the sports update. And uh, we expect to be getting updates on uh, the game for Lyon Stars because we're rooting to support. Well, this is where we would end today's edition of Wake Up Sierra Leone. Our quote for today says, a genuine leader is not searcher for consensus, but a boulder of consensus. And it comes from Martin Luther King Jr., a civil rights activist. We say thanks to our sponsor, Care Commercial Bank, for supporting the program. Um, continue to stay with AYV throughout the day as we have other exciting programs coming up. Till we meet tomorrow with more interesting topics here on Wake Up Sierra Leone, we have been your presenters. I am Amadula Manaba. And I am Fabian Sweel. Have a lovely day. Stay safe and cheers. watching AYV television when Isata prepares food for the family when John boils water for tea or when Chef Ami prepares the restaurant cuisine for her guest they all have something in common they rely on the exceptional energy LPG from Afrigas LPG from Afrigas is efficient safe portable clean and versatile it offers perfectly controlled heat that can be easily transported. According to WHO, 4.3 million people die annually from household air pollution caused by smoke from charcoal and firewood. The switch to Africa's can have a profound impact on society, especially low-income families and women, through improved health, safety and time saved for more productive work than collective.